Guys, they've done it again. Another update, another wave of deleted items on Dressed in Press. In today's video, guys, we are going to be going over all the newly removed items in Dressed in Press. As a fair warning, some of these items are being reworked and will be returning soon, so fear not, they will be coming back. But you guys, most of these items are sadly gone forever, and due to low demand and very little excitement, they probably won't be coming back. As always, besties, the description will have a link to the wiki, and I do not own these images. Thank you guys so much for showing so much love on my last deleted video. We are almost at 1 million views on that video, you guys. You guys are insane. Thank you so much, besties. You guys are so sweet to me. I love you all so much. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you like content like this, and subscribe to be part of the Zesty Bestie Squad. We are trying to hit our yearly goal of 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, you guys. We are almost there, and the year is almost up, you guys. So go ahead and help a girly out and hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, besties, let's get into today's video. Alrighty, besties, we are starting off how we normally do patterns. There was a massive wave of deleted patterns for this update, and for some reason, it had to be done. I do believe it's because of the new update to make some room for the new Halloween ones, but, you know, some of these are really heartbreaking to be removed, and others are very much necessary. So, honestly, it's a give and take with this one. The first four patterns are all basically the same one, but different patterns, and this, of course, is the brat themed patterns. I find this one so interesting because they kept all of the brat stuff, but removed all the patterns, but nonetheless, I'm not too phased by this as it wasn't really useful anymore after the event ended. The brat pattern will always be missed and hopefully it'll come back. Next up, you guys, we have these two muted color palette patterns. These are not something I used hardly ever, so I'm not too phased by it, but maybe you guys have a different opinion in the comments down below. First one is a simple gray one, and the second one is a striped wavy pattern. So honestly, these weren't that much of a loss for me, but maybe you guys had different opinions. Let me know in the comments down below. Alrighty guys, the next seven patterns are actually some that I loved so much and used frequently. <sighs> So I hope they'll reconsider this maybe by watching this video. Hi B, how's it going girly? <laughs> Love you my bestie. Um, but maybe they'll reconsider after seeing this video. Alrighty guys, at number seven we have the pink stars pattern. This one is a massive L for the alt emo community. Unfortunately, this one was a really good one for any kind of alt related theme. Um, there is still the one with the white stars, I believe. This one was really one of my favorites. I liked the pink version better. I'm just a little biased because pink is one of my favorite colors, but you know, it is what it is, and we'll let bygones be bygones. Number six, you guys, is the pink paw pattern. This one was actually really super duper cute for like a pastel kawaii kind of look. Um, this was also one not used as often as the other ones on this list, so I get why it was removed, but also it was one that I loved using a lot, so maybe they will reconsider this one. Not too sure. Maybe they'll bring it back for a kind of Valentine's Day-esque vibe update, but nonetheless, I fear that it won't be coming back unless they bring dogs and cats into the game. Well, they've already bought cats, so maybe they'll bring in dogs and we'll have a pet update and then they'll bring this back. <laughs> but otherwise, I fear this pattern is probably not coming back, unfortunately. Number five is the blue-green rainbow cheetah print pattern. This one was actually really good for like an 80s theme, kind of like a throwback nostalgia vibe, um, and a few more like really outgoing, like really bright color themes. It was an older classic as well, so removing it really hit home for me as a throwback pattern, and they are slowly getting rid of all the older patterns. It's really scary me, you guys. We have very little old patterns left from the very first update when patterns were released. So a lot of those older ones are actually getting removed, you guys, and I'm really, really hoping that they change their mind and they decide to just leave them as they are. So we'll see how it is. But as of now, we are down to very few patterns left. So hopefully they'll keep the ones that we've had from the start. All right, you guys, number four is the purple pattern, which is similar to the gray one that's shown earlier. This was a little more frequently used pattern that I've done. Um, this was a more simpler one, but very bold and bright. And honestly, it really spice up every kind of looks that I use. And it was a really good pattern, so it will absolutely be missed. And I really, really hope they reconsider this one because this one was a really good one as well. So, and you guys, the next two are, oh my gosh, some of my other all-time favorite patterns as well. These next two are really going to hit really close to home, and I'm really sad they got rid of them. Um, they got rid of the snake pattern, which was one of my all-time favorites. I loved the snakeskin pattern. It was just so elegant and poised and very, like, very professional, gave very like fashion designer vibes. So hopefully they'll bring that one back. I don't know why they really got rid of that one. Um, as well as a green variant of it. It's kind of snake-esque, but not the same. Um, they're really missing out for some Medusa outfits, some snakeskin couture, or like even the snake trick that people were using to make like the fake snake with the boa, the apple. Come on, you guys, bring that one back. And last, you guys, this one hurt the absolute most. This was a massive L for the 
pastel girly community. The pink pattern was removed. <sighs> this one was one of my favorite patterns, actually. From the start, as soon as this is released, I use this pattern all the time. Because although it is a very simple pink pattern, it had just the right texture to make it a little bit different than the normal pink color. And it just really elevated a look, bringing a little bit of a textured vibe. Um, I will be missing this one ever so much. So hopefully they'll reconsider and bring this pattern back. All right, you besties. So that concludes the pattern portion of this video. We'll be moving on to clothing items. First up, you guys, we have these baggy pants, you guys. Oh my God. They are slowly but surely getting rid of any form of flare in pants. If you guys have noticed any kind of bagginess, any kind of flare, anything that isn't the normal straight jean or straight legging, they're just getting rid of. And I don't know why. I loved these baggy jeans, these baggy pants. They were good for sweatpants, for jeans, for literally everything. And they just got rid of them. And that was the same vibe that I felt with the flare pants. So I have a very strong message to Dress and Press that they need to bring back some kind of flare. You cannot just get rid of the flare pants and then just never bring anything that's remotely similar back in this game. I demand the flare pants to come back please. I know they won't bring it back, but mayhaps, mayhaps. Alrighty besties, next up we have are these gloves. And for some reason, mostly all of the gloves have been removed and they've now just moved them into toggles, which I get it. It gets rid of all that messy clutter vibe on the table with all those like gloves spread out. But like for me, I just liked a variety. I liked a bunch of variants. Now they're kind of just spread out through all the map and it's just way too confusing. And I miss the gloves spread out on the table, which was really nice. Um, but they are unfortunately all in a toggle version now. You know what? No words. Moving on to our next thing. The next thing we have are these two sneakers that they removed, which are the pink and white ones and the green ones. Like I said, you guys, the older classics are slowly but surely getting kicked out of this game and they're making room for brand new and revamped items, which we love to see, but also we still like the nostalgia classics to you guys. So dress and press, please just stop getting rid of the older classic stuff. I get why you have to, but some of it just needs to just stay where it is like with the mermaid skirt i feel like if we guys ride enough we can get those flare leggings back i'm gonna keep bringing this back but whatever if anyone is watching this from the dress and press dev de department bring back those flare leggings besties because that was my favorite pair of pants and maybe i'm the only one that's thinking this but come on you guys you don't like the flare leggings come on Alrighty, guys so the next one's a little controversial and i'm just gonna keep it short and sweet the next two items were removed because of devs leaving the dress and press community um but basically they got rid of the baddie necklace because it was a toggle of the tiago necklace who was an ex dev at dti and i assume are not working for dress and press anymore i don't really know i don't keep up with this kind of stuff you guys so i don't know but based on the wiki description it says from an ex dev um so they got rid of that which i really am sad about because i did like the baddie necklace an earring combo so i wonder if they're gonna just like revamp that and bring it back as just like a baddie vibe other than anything else and they also got rid of the dior dr ben stilettos which were also removed from the game um those were not as popular as the other heels hey besties so the next thing we have are these vip fur boots they are rumored to be coming back for a revamp but i'm not too sure about this one um the other two revamped i have confirmed I didn't hear anything about this VIP fur boots, but maybe it's something I missed. I have a feeling that they will probably be bringing this back for the winter update since they are fur boots. Honestly, I do think that would make the most sense, but it hasn't been confirmed. So we'll have to just wait and see if they come back. The next thing we have are the wings, you guys, and they just introduced these wings in the last update and they're getting rid of them. What the heck? <laughs> they got rid of the normal angel wings and the three tiered angel wings as well. Um, these were perfect for layering. I don't understand what's going on lately. Um, so maybe they'll bring this stuff back. I just don't know if these are temporary removals or permanent removals. But as of lately, they don't seem to have anything in the works of bringing this back. So I don't really know. Um, I do like the new wings that they added, though. So they are really cute. But I will always miss the older ones. Like, I'm always just a nostalgic classic kind of person. So I will forever miss the older versions. But I do wish that they held on to it just a little longer. Just a little longer. <laughs> hey guys, and the last thing I have on this list is the hot dog costume. Oh, you guys don't understand. I loved this hot dog costume. It was so funny. It was so silly. I just don't understand why this dress press community loves to take things that are like so like super silly not like super like crazy and make it so inappropriate that they have to get rid of it 
<laughs> like you guys please <laughs> just stop the hot dog costume was so silly and so fun i was like oh cool and people are making some really cool things with it um but people ruined it by being inappropriate and making very inappropriate outfits so they will not be bringing that back but they did replace it with the cupcake costume so it's not that big of a loss but it's a totally different food item now and i just i don't know if i can recover I'm just kidding you guys of course i'll be fine and the cupcake costume is really cute so it is what it is Alrighty, besties we are moving on from the clothing department and moving into the fashionable hair department you guys loved the hair department one in the last video but that was because there were so many hair removals in that video that it was insanely long but you guys this one's a little shorter there's only two hairs that were removed in this update so for dress and press this is a really good number <laughs> honestly just two hairs being removed is a blessing in disguise but they are two very prominent and very old classic hairs. So for my nostalgia lovers like myself, you will be a little upset. But for those of you who are just not really that much into that and just care about making looks, then you can skip ahead to this part. But you guys, the first one is the Karen haircut, which is perfect for the Karen theme, you guys. It just was made for it. But it was also like a trendy, chic kind of hair. I liked the way the bangs kind of cut. A lot of people didn't like it because it was trolling vibes. But I just really love this hair for some reason. It was also really good for Joy from Inside Out and just a bunch of other different characters. It was really good for the shorter hair, you know, vibe. And I get that it was such a low demand, but hopefully they'll reconsider. And the other one was also really good hair. It was the hair with the little headband and like an updo. Um, this one was really, really cute. Um, I really wish they would have kept it. Um, I personally never really used it, but I mean, I thought it was really cute hair. And it had the built-in headband but i think since we are slowly progressing and getting more headbands and head wraps and updos it's just slowly not needed anymore um but we'll see maybe they'll add something a little similar to that all right you guys so before we get into the last and final removal that was probably one of the saddest things in this news update we're going to go over some things that are going to be revamped and are already revamped in the game from the latest update the first thing that we have is the oversized sweater you guys this one has to be one of my favorite revamps in the dress press history they decided to make it an off shoulder sweater which was absolutely because of the community feedback so thank you so much to all those who helped contribute to that and this was by far my favorite thing in the world very much needed and honestly so much vibe so 10 out of 10 for this one love this one so much the next thing we have is the camera which was another much needed revision you guys a lot of people on on twitter were very very mad about this they like stop getting rid of the old camera honestly the new camera is a vibe and you can hold it and take a cute picture i like it way better maybe i'm a little biased because the older camera wasn't really my vibe the new one is so much cuter but you know some people like the nostalgia factor so i can't say too much about it but i did like the camera as well there was also rumors about the books being redone but to my knowledge they look pretty much the same to me so i guess that one might have been scrapped i'm not too sure next up we have the jenny dress which is slightly modified with a bow um and that's pretty much it there was a little slight difference in the two pictures right here but ever so slightly so this one was not that big of a loss or a win because it's basically the same dress but just a little bit of embellishment so it's good to have as well and last you guys these heels i am so upset about this one these were my go-to heels you guys these were my heels that I used for every single theme from the moment I started playing this game to just now. They literally got rid of them and I'm so mad because these heels were so cute. They were staple in all my looks. It's probably one of the most simple yet chic red bottom heels. Like it had the toggle to just make them a full on heel and it just has like the perfect silhouette, the perfect heel. Ugh, I don't understand. They just made them like giant now. They made them like massive heels. I, I'm not really one for a platform heel. I like a very simple, you know, you know, it just kind of brings the legs together. Just a simple heel, you know, nothing crazy. I can't say anything about it. You know, I don't make the, I don't make the stuff here, but honestly, I was a little sad about that because these heels were a staple. So hopefully they'll reconsider. All right, next guys, we have two items that are going to be revamped, but haven't been done yet. So those last couple that were already revamped and reintroduced in the newest update. So these two are going to be coming into a future update that has not been announced yet. So this could be in the next update or the update after or many updates to come. We don't really know. But to my general knowledge, I feel like these are going to be introduced in the newest update because they would not make us wait that long for these two staple items. So the first thing we have is this very cute dark coquette dress, which is a very much a staple thing in the VIP. This is partially the reason why I did get VIP actually, you guys, because this dress was so 
cute when it was released. Very excited to see what they're going to be doing with this one. Hopefully they'll do something cute with it. Maybe they'll add a little bit more of like snatched waist and like a little cute like more butterflies and make it really cute and like high glam. But I'm also being very optimistic. So we'll see how it goes with that one. And you guys, this was the most controversial thing that they're going to be updating. It is the Madoka set, you guys, which I'm very curious to see what they're going to be doing with this new revamp. Honestly, you guys, I'm not really sure how you can really make this better, but you know what? We've seen better things, so we're going to keep an optimistic eye and hope for the best for this. But I will say that this is probably one of my most used outfits, but I think they're going to make it fine. So I always have hope for these devs and they always go above and beyond my expectations. So I'm just going to start off with a small expectation, but I know it's going to be grand. So honestly, not that big of a loss. And I'm very excited to see what they're going to be doing with that. At least they're not getting rid of it for permanent good because I did spend all my tickets on those. So I don't want them to go away. <laughs> Alrighty, Bessie. So the last thing that got removed is honestly one of the saddest things. You guys, I don't know if I'm going to be recovering from this. Um, it's something that I loved so much but it's not that big of a loss because there is a substitution for it but you guys they got rid of the batty nails okay if you guys know anything about dress and press the batty nails was a staple piece people were shocked that they kept them past the april fool's update and they were really cute honestly they made for a really cute look now grant you guys the only reason they probably got rid of them because of the new nail salon and the options to choose different nail shapes so it doesn't really fit in with that kind of vibe and there are some new nail shapes that are a little longer so, you know, they made them a little modified to the batty nails, but they got rid of the batty nails, period. And honestly, it's a staple in the dress press community, but hopefully they'll bring something back similar to that for the April Fool's event with the matching toes like they did last year. So we are going to keep an optimistic mind about this because I do fear that they will be bringing this back for the April Fool's update. So we're going to keep an open eye for that and hopefully they stick to that. But you never know with Dress and Press. Hey, Bessie, so that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you again for all the love in my last video. And hopefully the love will be shown on this one as well. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy the series moving forward. I will try to be doing as much deleted item videos as I possibly can for any items that are deleted and any kind of update as well. Don't forget to give a big fat thumbs up if you guys enjoy content like this. And comment down below your favorite item that was removed from the game and turn on post notifications to be notified whenever i post a new video so besties don't forget to join my rolex group linked in the top of the description and follow me on my social medias linked in the description as well i'll see you besties in my next video bye guys